Hey, what's up, guys? I am going through my YouTube feed, um, listening to some interviews from Sergey Kovalev from his final press conference with Andre Ward for the rematch. And I heard Sergey say something, and I want to play it for you to hear for yourself. And uh, I'm going to comment on it. Okay, here it is. Okay, I, I will bring everything what I have in my pocket. If my pockets are empty, okay, I will be fighting for like, my skills. Don't worry, because I, I'm a fighter. I'm not a businessman. I hope you guys could hear that. He says, uh, you know, that, uh, you know, he'll, if his pockets are empty, you know, that's fine. He uh, fights. Uh, you know, he'll he'll fight for his skills. He is not a businessman. He is a fighter. Okay. Now, I had to make a video on this because this is the attitude and the mindset that we all should cheer for, man. Support fighters, not businessmen. Andre Ward is one who's, who's going around talking about it's got to make sense, all this kind of stuff. He was talking about this at one of the press conferences, um, you know, talking about the business side and all this, my team and the business and and all this and that, man. And Sergey Kovalev, when they okay, they did not he did not be be a man of his word, and he did not stick to the first contract Andre Ward did. Instead, it was stall tactics, retirement uh, tactics, uh, talks, and then he, uh, you know, they said they sent Sergey a, a, a different contract. All right, I don't know what was in that contract. I, I would love to know if somebody needs to ask what was in that contract. Uh, you know, what, what is he getting? Uh, you know, if he if he's getting less than what he got in the first fight. Or what he would have got in the uh, rematch clause from the first uh, fight contract, but man, there's no telling what Sergey signed over uh, to to get this fight. Man, he he may be getting uh, peanuts compared to what Ward is getting in this fight. Man, it could be a a 70, 30, 80, 20 split. Ain't no telling what Sergey is getting in this fight, man. But he want he just wanted to fight. He just wanted rematch. He wanted to get Ward back in the ring, you know. And Ward was the one. Sergey signed immediately. We did not hear any talks about Sergey complaining about what was in the contract. Uh, you know, stall tactics by by Sergey. Nothing. Don't the, the only thing I heard was they sent Sergey a contract. He signed it. That's all. I, that's all we heard. If anybody knows any different, please tell me. But Sergey, as far as I know, just signed whatever they whatever they sent him. He signed it. You know, let's make the fight. Let's get him back in the ring. And it took war weeks to, uh, you know, to, to sign and announce the fight. I think Sergey called his bluff. And uh, I, I just had to make a video to comment on this, man. I, I applaud Sergey Kovalev, man. You know, how can people not be a fan of this guy? If, if, if more guys in the game had this mindset and mentality, man, think we would, get, we would, be, we would be getting great fights all the time. All the time, instead of all these guys talking about it's got to make sense, you know, uh, it, I got to do what's right for my family, business, business, all this kind of talk. This is a real fighter's mentality, old school fighter mentality. You know, Sergey would would have would have survived well in the old days when everybody fought each other. You know, this this is what I'm talking about, man. You know, a guy who who did not hold up the sport and the fans for uh, money. And uh, you know, play stall tactics. This guy signed the contract. He is ready to fight. He says that you know he is like you say he is not a businessman. He is a fighter. You know he you know forget the money. He will fight for his skills just to show that he is the best. To show that his skills are better. That's that's what he is saying. And man, I applaud any guy who has this mindset. Man, it is rare in the game. Uh, I believe Kel Brook has this this uh, mindset also. You know, that's why I'm a fan of his. So, you know, I, I just had to make a comment on this, man. Support fighters, not businessmen, man. Um, you know, this is this is great, man. This is the mentality. This is the mindset that uh, we need from fighters. And we would always get great fights in uh, all of combat sports, man. 
Thanks for watching.